Hello everyone, very happy to have you here. Welcome to a new dimension of creative expression, where this tiny and delicate self-development board is artistic, innovations like touch designer and processing. We are going to harness the power of self-development boards and sensors bridging the physical and the digital worlds. Today, we are focusing on the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense, a versatile board equipped with an integrated camera sensor, microphone and SD card support, combining embedded machine learning computing power with photography capabilities. Touch Designer is a real-time visual development platform that allows you to create a complex video processing system with ease from 2D to 3D that is a playground for artists, designers, and engineers to put the boundaries of visual creativity. Processing, on the other hand, is a flexible software sketchbook used for coding within the context of the visual arts. So, to be short, let's start with today's journey, mainly including four parts. Now, we should create a video stream from Xiaoyi SP32 S3. Download the code from your C Studio Wiki. Go to Xiao, Xiaoyi SP32 S3 Sense. Hardware usage. And camera usage for Sense version. And then navigate to Project 2, Video Streaming. You can go through the whole article for more details about hardware usage and code. For now, we need to download Arduino code from GitHub based on our Arduino ESP32 board package version. If your version is 2, download the first code package. If your version is 3, download the second code package. To save time, I, I already downloaded everything and put them together in one folder with the same name as .ino file. Then go to Arduino, then we can track our board versions here. And select the board of Xiaoyi SP32 S3. Remember to enable the PSRF for accelerating memory access and data processing to ensure camera works properly. And replace your Wi Fi and password. Then compile and upload the code to Xiaoyi SP32 S3. After uploading, turn on the serial monitor to get the IP address of Xiao ESP32 Sense before press the reset button on board. Now you can access the camera using this IP address via browser. Copy the IP address to the Edge or Google Chrome browsers. I recommend this receive the configuration page for the video. Then start the video screen. You can see. Now we can go to the Touch Designer, let's set up the web server to stream video and this is a template of Touch Designer and every time we open up Touch Designer it washes up so we need to select all the nodes and delete it. Then we go to the file and click the save to save it as our project name so ESP32 S3 Streaming Video Data Processing and this is our workplace and then double click the screen, go to the OP, create dialog and select video stream in. And we can see a server URL to copy our ESP32 S3 address to here. And the, the port is 89 default and the stream name is stream. Then we need to remember to Close the stream on the browser. Now we can see the stream in. And this is our character today, a pretty little chick. Now let's continue the level of the project. Drag out the output of the video stream in node and hit tab on the resolution node. And then go to the party, select tools and navigate to chroma key. Press it and drag it to workplace. Then click one more time and the workplace, the node will show up. Chroma key helps you build an alpha channel from video with a single color background. I just closed up the parameter dialog and now we need to connect the resolution nodes to the chroma key. And zoom in the chroma key, you can see the complex network. Then zoom out. Right click the view to the viewer and select input and black as our background. And then we need to select the key color 
address the color bar and gather the key color pixel together. You can see the outshape of the cheek. Then we drag the output one of chroma key and hit tab to find the transformer operator. Now we want the video to change with the music, so drag in one of our preferred MP3 file to workplace and then connect it to an analyze node. Open the parameter dialog and change the function to RSW power. Drag it and connect to a math node. Adjust the parameter for an appropriate data range. Then it's an important action that's click the viewer active and then click and select the channel. Then go to the transformer and open the parameter dialog. Go to the scale parameter and right click it and select past export. Now we can see the dynamic effect of the video. Click the pink arrow, we can see the max export. That's record the data of the channel. With the video processed, it's time to transmit the feed to processing using Sprout. Connect the transformer to now one node and the siphon Sprout out node. Everything is ready. Let's go to the processing. Open the processing and install the Sprout library to processing advanced. After downloading the Sprout library, then go to the example library, go to the contributed library and open the Sprout receive example, then run it. For now, you can see the stream transmit from Touch Designer. The video tutorial ends here. Use your imagination to create more artistic works in Touch Designer and processing. Up next, we'll bring you tutorials based on Xiao family, like sound visualization, gesture interactions. Stay tuned.